When I was coming up in the ranks, I was more often than not the only woman in the kitchen. We're adding a braised short rib dish. And the truth of it is, when you are a female, you have to learn to be twice as fast and work twice as hard just to be seen as an equal. You kind of learn to let your work do the talking for you. I'm not just Filipino. I'm not just a chef. And I'm not just a female chef. Let's start in Queens. I grew up in Forest Hills. There were a lot of strong cultural ties. Hi, can I get a large box of the raspberry arugula? Thank you. I think it was really great to grow up in Queens because it's very diverse. It's really such an immigrant-founded borough. I grew up being in the kitchen with my aunts, with my dad and my mom and my grandmother helping cook. That smells so good. We love to eat, we love to cook. The arugula is good, right? It's just Filipino culture that our love language is food. I asked Baluchi, where are you going to? Yeah. You know, I'm a Come on. party animal. I, I know, like we like parties. They always say that it's not a Filipino party unless there's lechon and karaoke. <laughs> I always tell people, if they're going to visit New York, don't eat in Manhattan. Just get food in Queens. That's where you're going to get real, authentic, whatever it is that you're looking for. When you come from an immigrant family, the expectation is that you're going to do well in school. You're absolutely going to college and you're going to find a traditional career. I did all of that, but I didn't really fit in. It wasn't until I was faced with a quarter life crisis that I thought, let's give cooking a try. I really wanted to push myself outside of my comfort zone. My gut was telling me DC, so I made the move. For me, at Estuary, I really have been given free reign to do things my way. Ultimately, Conrad DC's trust in me means that we're working together seamlessly to provide guests with an incredible stay they can't get anywhere else. Estuary is the perfect extension of that ethos. I get a lot of freedom when it comes to creativity. I've asked to do a lot of crazy things, out there ideas, and the team at Conrad Washington DC has yet to tell me no. This industry so often celebrates male chefs. I was tired of waiting every year for Women's History Month for there to be a reason to celebrate women in the industry. So at Estuary, I started the Miss and Plas Dinner Series. I wanted to talk about these women no matter what time of the year it was and build a community for women. It's an experience that our guests cannot get anywhere except for Conrad, Washington, DC. Sometimes the dinners highlight female sommeliers like Swati Bose. Cheers. Cheers. I made a completely vegetarian menu with Emma from Moon Valley using only produce from her farm. Cheers. Olivia from Creme de la Crop ice cream is a constant collaborator. I'm really excited to hear what she's gonna do. It's gonna be so good. We always donate to DASH, which is District Alliance for Safe Housing, a charity based in DC. They provide long-term shelter for families and for women. They also help with refugees. And that's why it was important for me to start doing the dinner series, to talk about the other women that uphold the industry. And that maybe hopefully changes things. Thanks for coming by. As a chef, where we source our ingredients from is one of the most important decisions we can make. 
so it's an easy choice to work with local farms like Moon Valley. Emma is this powerhouse of a woman who decided one day that she wanted to start up a farm. Oh, there's Marty. She goes out of her way to do the exact opposite of what you think mass production farming should be. It's so ambitious. Emma's not planting for the season. Emma's planting for the 20 years later down the road. This is something that guests get to experience firsthand, and it makes all the difference. coming up. You remember the one that we did together. I've been in D.C. for six years. What surprised me a lot is the pockets of neighborhoods that have real character to them. Noma has really great food. Can I have uh, two pizzas? Yeah, the baklava, please. Thank you so much. Also, Georgetown. It's just a really special neighborhood with a lot of great restaurants. It's so gooey. Downtown, the heartbeat of Washington, has people from all over the country, all over the world. Estuary is where it all meets. Building my team has been central to the success of my kitchen. Sean is my right-hand man. We operate on the same creative wavelength. We've been able to make Estuary what it is now. And we're very, very proud of our team. We focus on locality, sustainability, seasonality is big. The perfect amount. The way I tend to cook is more vegetable forward. Sundays are typically reserved just for me and Travis. We really love grabbing a quick bite and then going to the flea market. That's too big. It's just nice to be able to make a whole day out of it. They are really pretty. Thank you. I draw from a lot of places in my life that inspire me that just happen to land on a plate. I don't want to end up being pigeonholed in any way or be any sort of stereotype. I think that that mentality has changed a little bit because plenty of women have shown that we can keep up with the rest of them. But it's still work that needs to be done and women need to keep pushing forward. We are not one thing. We are multitudes. <laughs>